Hello, dear traders, you're watching a weekly review of the US stock market presented to you by InstaForex TV channel and me, Yekaterina Stichina. The US stock market fell on Friday, led by a slight in the energy sector caused by lower oil prices, as well as the recent reports of April planning to continue slashing its smartphone production due to poor sales. Nevertheless, the benchmark indexes managed to enter the week in positive territory. The Nasdaq Composite was up 1.8% for the week, closing at 4938.22. The Dow Jones Industrial Average edged lower to 17921.5 by the session close on April 15. The overall weekly gain amounted to 1.82%. The S&P 500 slid to 2080.73, adding 1.62% for the week. Six out of ten sectors of the S&P 500 advanced on Friday, while the energy sector stood out as the biggest underperformer. This week, this week we'll see a slew of corporate reports for the first quarter of the year. The market forecasts a dip in earnings of 7.8% on average across all S&P components. U.S. stocks are staging an impressive surge. The Dow Jones and S&P 500 sold by 40% after trading near the February 11 lows. On Friday, market participants were monitoring a flow of macroeconomic data from the United States. Fresh data revealed that U.S. industrial production fell by 0.6 percent in March from the previous months, while economists had predicted a marginal downtick of 0.1 percent. At the same time, the New York Federal Reserve's Empire State Manufacturing Index came in higher than expected, jumping from 0.6 to 9.56 in April. In April, the University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Index fell to its lowest level since last September, landing at 89.7 after the prior reading of 91. Moreover, China's fundamentals suggest that the country's GDP grew only by 6.7 percent on a year-over-year -year basis during the first quarter, as the economy slowed its expansion from 6.8 percent recorded in the previous three months. This is the weakest quarterly growth since 2009. However, China's industrial production, retail sales and home sales scored a stronger performance. So, it was rather hard for investors to interpret these mixed signals. American banks demonstrated considerable volatility at the end of the week. Citigroup Incorporated stocks lost 0.1% on Friday after a 2% climb observed during the session. The bank reported a sharp decline in its revenue and profit for the first quarter. Still, the actual figures beat consensus estimates. The bank's net income fell by 27%. Meanwhile, shares of bad global markets jumped by 21% in the market debut. The initial public offering by the owner of Hotspot FX came as a relief for the entire IPO market, which has been in a sleep mode throughout the year. The company announced putting more than 11 million of its shares on the market, with an initial price range of $17 to $19 per share. The stocks ended the day at $23 a piece. You have watched the US Stock Market Weekly Review on InstaForex TV channel with me, Yekaterina Stichina. Stay tuned with us.